What is up guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be adding Destruction All-Stars and the Control Ultimate Edition to our PlayStation library without actually owning a PS5. Do note, Destruction All-Stars is a PS5 exclusive game. You cannot play it on the PS4. That goes without saying. I, th I think anybody will understand that. Also, Control Ultimate Edition on PlayStation Plus for this month, the PS5 and PS4 versions are available to add to your library. They are considered as separate games, as completely separate downloads. I would consider adding both of them to your library. I'm gonna be doing that here in this video. I wanted to do the video like this in this style where you see my face, see my reaction, see exactly how I get the links and everything because I felt like the last couple of times I did it, there was a lot of questions in the comments, a lot of people confused about this, that, and the third. I'm gonna just show you my method on how the sauce is actually done. So I went ahead and I clicked right on Wario64's tweet. He lays everything out so beautifully and done. Shout out to Wario64. I'm gonna have a link in the description as well as the pinned tweet, as well as the pinned comment in this video. So you guys could just click on these links as well. So you go directly to these pages. But I clicked on Destruction All-Stars and I got this, this blank, let me make it bigger but i got like this blank page basically and i was thinking to myself i was like yo why is it like this like i've never seen it like this not for man eater not for i think it was the other one the the bug snacks not nothing like this it was never no blank stuff down here in this section right here right so i came to the conclusion i was like yo what what is going on like what is actually going on like why is it blank here i couldn't figure it out so what I did is like, maybe it's a glitch on my end. Maybe it's a glitch on the computer or whatever the case may be. I was like, yo, let me, let me just use the, the PlayStation app. See if, because I know that I did it b before on the PlayStation app and that worked. I'm gonna have, I mean, can I show it like this? I could probably show it like this, but I'm gonna just show the recording on screen. I'm gonna edit it in, uh, but let me hit the record button on this. So on the PlayStation app, if you search Destruction All Stars, I'm gonna just make sure that um, you guys seen that I searched Destruction. I didn't even put Destruction, I put D-E-S. And it's one of the first games right under Destroy All Humans. You go to Destruction All-Stars. And it's going to say playable only on PS5. PS Plus exclusive included. And it says add to library right there on screen. It does. It, it, it's weird because on the, the, the web browser version, there is something I could click here. And that's what I wanted to test. I want to test it, me clicking here first and see what happens. And then after I try the phone, if it not allowing me to add it to cart from here. Let's see and click that. that does that need does anything? Let me make it. I don't know if making it bigger actually helps, but I do know when I make it bigger, uh, it does go down here, like underneath the the PlayStation button. And I could I like, click this, but yeah, like this is not. I'm not sure if that's doing anything. Let me just reload um this on the app and see if the add to library button. Yeah, the add to library button is still here. And let me refresh the page too. Make sure I'm logged in. Yep, I'm logged in in the corner. So I, I should be able to just, again, just be able to grab this. But for whatever reason, it's not working on the website. The button comes up vaguely, but when I click it, none happens. At least I don't see anything visually happen here. I'm not sure if it's added to my library or not. However, what I am going to do is I'm going to touch add to library right now on my phone so you guys can see real quick. I am going to touch the, the button right here, the big white button that says add to library. So let's click that. I got a white screen loading. Boom. Please don't show any personal information, but see it says Confirm purchase. I'm, I'm showing you guys. I could. I, I'm, I'm recording the screen. Why am I showing it to the camera? But let me. I'm gonna click the blue button on the bottom that says confirm purchase. It says processing. And it says thank you for your purchase, Daddy Gamer Fred. Continue shopping. That destruction all stars has been added to my account. So what I like to do also when I go to I click continue shopping, but we could just jump out of the the store portion of the app. I like to go to my game library and see if it's there. Let's just check uh, if it's there. It's going to go to played. I want to go to purchased, right? And then I want to just scroll down. It should be in alphabetical order. So destruction, what is it? Destruction also, there we go. Right over Devil May Cry is right here on my, it's right here on my, I'm showing it to the screen. Why am I doing that? Uh, it's right here over Devil May Cry next to Destiny 2. So again, it is here on the library, but like I said, I don't have a PS5. 
So this is my way to add it to my library. So when I do get a PS5, I'm PS5 ready. I got Destruction All-Stars completely for free because I am currently paying for a PlayStation Plus this month. And again, that was a way to do it for whatever reason. It's not working on the web browser. I guess this is a perfect um, video to show a way around this like little glitch if you're getting this glitch. Let's go over and um, continue and do control next and see what pops up with this one. Let's see if we get any better results. So control ultimate edition. This one says PS4, PS5. And again, it's just blank. Even on the PS4 version. Let me make it big. Oh, I see it. I see it now, but everything, let me make sure you guys see. So I'm scrolling and you see Ultimate Edition, PS4, PS5, this blank down here, this stuff you could click on, PS4, PS4. And again, I, I can't, I could click, but it's not, it doesn't do anything. Things you click on the PS4, things you click on PS5. Now again, it could just be a glitch and that's something I could be facing. Maybe my IP address is blocking this for whatever reason, but again, Let's jump in on the app and see if the app does anything to, to alleviate this. Go to the PlayStation Store, and then while you're in the PlayStation Store, when you're in the app, just hit the, the search. Make sure you're under games when you're searching, and put Control. There we go, Control Ultimate Edition. I see a bunch of them. I see Ultimate Edition, Control, and then Full Game Control Ultimate Edition. Let me go to Full Game Control Ultimate Edition. Let's add on. Okay, so this one says... Release today, 210, I mean, 22 2021. That's today. So, this must be the PS5 version, if I'm not mistaken. It doesn't say anywhere. Does it say? It says to play this game on PS5, you may need to be upgraded. I want to make sure that I am downloading both the PS5 and the PS4 version. So, let me see. Okay, see, look, they both. Okay, this one now says PS4. So, let's go to the PS5 edition. I'm going to go select edition. I'm going to add the PS5 to my library. And it's going to say confirm purchase. Boom. Processing. Continue shopping. Of course. Continue shopping. Now that I got that one. And I'm going to go to control. Oh. Control. to PS4 edition. Select edition. And it says download to console. So once you get the PS5 edition. It also buys the PS4 edition inside of the store. I guess. And you have it. It's kind of weird. Because they did say that it was two versions of it. So I wonder if just buying the PS5 or the PS4 one, I wonder if I would bought the PS4 one when I've gotten the PS5 one is my question. However, let me know in the comment section below. This is kind of confusing. And now I want, I, I wish I downloaded the PS4 version first to see how that would have went. But let's keep going. And again, it is kind of bugged here. It's like nothing to click on. It says PS4, PS5. So maybe the ultimate edition doesn't include both, but I'm unsure. Um, let's keep going. We have another one. This is claim both links just in case. And again, that's him just covering his bases, making sure people claim both the PS4 and the PS5 version of control. And this one, again, the PS4 version, and it's not to click on the website. Completely not to click. Not even loading. There we go. But no buttons under them. Again, it's, it's so weird. I don't know if it's just breaking right now. Of course, the hidden gem of the PlayStation Plus right now is Concrete Genie. Let's see if this comes up. This is straight a PS4 game. No PS4, PS5 shenanigans going on with this game. Let's see if it lets me just grab it. And no, it does not. There's no button under here. Again, I'm kind of glad that I'm doing this video like this so you guys could see. But there's no button under there. So let's, uh, again, just do it on my phone. God. Con... Concrete Genie. There we go. Concrete Genie. Digital. It is going to be the regular edition, I believe. The regular edition. I don't think we are getting the digital edition. So the regular edition. That's fine with me. That's a library. It does include, I, I believe the regular edition doesn't include the PSVR version. So if you have PSVR, there's definitely a, a PSVR capable game, at least to the fact that there's a PSVR mode in the game. I'm not sure if the whole game is just playable in VR. But I'm excited to try Concrete Genie. It does seem like a cool game that I could play with the kids in the room and stuff like that. Don't have to worry about, you know, gun violence or anything like that. It says processing, and this one's taking the longest. It says something went wrong. Okay, I definitely want to confirm purchase. What's going on? 100% off, and it says something went wrong. Okay, so let me close the app, right? Bring it back up. Go back into search. Let's put Concrete Genie. 
And it says purchase. It says that I got the game already. Okay, so that's cool. So let me just double check and make sure that I have it in my library. That's a great, again, great way to make sure that you have the game in your library before you actually finish. There we go. Control and Concrete Genie right there back to back next to each other. So I'm going to wrap things up here. Let me know in the comment section below if you were able to download and add Destruction All-Stars, Concrete Genie, and Control Ultimate Edition PS5 and PS4 version to your PlayStation library. Again, I'm doing it currently without owning a PS5. Destruction All-Stars and Control confirm to be the PS5 version. So when I do get the PS5, I'm ready to roll and play those games on my PS5. Let me know in the comment section below, again, if you are having any troubles. I answer all comments, so let's have that conversation down there. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. I do videos like this all the time. Every time we get brand new PS5 games that we're able to download, I like to do this video to kind of help people navigate through the BS, go straight to the source, and get the games added. Again, I had to use my smartphone this time, so again, that's new to me, but again, I am trying to learn and try to figure out the best way to actually do these. I always say online was the best way, but I had a little hiccup online. So I wanted to make a video showing the hiccup as well as showing a way around it as well. So let me know in the comment section below again, if this was helpful. Also leave a like on the video if you found it helpful. Liking the video helps me out a ton as far as moving the video and to recommend this to other people can check out the videos. Peace, I love you guys. I'm gonna see you guys on the next one. Thank you, thank you, thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you're not a subscriber and you made it this far, hit that subscribe button. You know you want to join the family, ring the bell so you can be notified on the next time I drop one of my videos as well as hit the like button on this video so it could be recommended so more people can check it out so we can have more people join in the family if you want to keep up with me on other social media platforms such as twitter instagram or tiktok or whatever i'm daddy gamer fred on all of those again daddy gamer fred you'll be able to find all those links in the description of this video and the pin tweet comment on my twitter also on all of my videos i do answer all comments so again if you just want to chat it up about the video or anything just hit me up in the comment section below i take time out of my day and literally answer to all the comments that you guys leave me and i love it and again let's have that conversation down there here are a couple of suggested videos that you guys should check out that may be of your interest i am a variety channel i do tons of stuff tons of pokemon but tons of other stuff as well so dive into these videos peace i love you guys i'm gonna see you guys on the next one